Two iconic culinary competitions are happening in the United States for the very first time. The Bocuse d'Or, considered by some the Olympics of cooking, will hold its America's Round in New Orleans on Wednesday and Thursday. We've got nine teams from the North and South American continents, including the United States, that will compete against one another. The top five teams will advance to the competition's final round early next year in Lyon, France. But first, the America's Round of the Pastry World Cup is happening today. It is also in New Orleans, arguably the world's most prestigious pastry competition out there. Six countries from North and South America will take part, with the top three moving on to next year's finale. Joining us now, culinary legend Emeril Lagasse. He is also the honorary president of the competition to talk more about what is going on. Good morning to you. What a pleasure. I'm a big fan. Well, good morning, Marnie. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, this is quite exciting. <laughs> I, I, I wish you could feel the buzz in the city. It's just amazing. Uh, and as you said, Marnie, uh, today uh, starts uh, the, the World Cup of Pastry. Uh, you can see the kitchens behind uh, behind me. Uh, like you said, six countries will be competing for three spots to go to the world competition. And then Wednesday and Thursday, Bocusta Or, the savory part of it, begins with nine countries competing, Team USA, uh, Team Canada, uh, and seven countries from South America. Quite exciting. Yeah, Emerald, I wish I was there, not just to see it, but to taste it. I mean, I've got a sweet tooth, and so the, the World Cup of Pastry is right up my alley. And, and Louisiana is such a unique choice. Why is it important to be there with all the flavors of the South? Well, I think that the, uh, I think New Orleans being such a, a melting pot that it is of cuisine and culture uh, represents exactly uh, why probably this is the first time it held in, 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 in America, in North America. Um, so we're quite excited about that. What's exciting is that uh, myself and the committee, uh, we had to choose ingredients that were indigenous for these teams uh, of Louisiana, of New Orleans. So each team has to work with uh, wild boar rack, grits. Uh, they have to work with alligator sausage and the great seafood coming from the Gulf of Mexico. So there's a theme platter and a theme plate that they have to have certain time limits that they have to use those ingredients to do that. It's going to be really, really, really exciting, particularly in front of a live audience. Wow, and pressure is on. What will the judges, Emerald, be looking for? I mean, how do they determine a winner among so much culinary talent? Great question, Marnie. I think that the, the judges will be looking at how they use those ingredients and how they put it together. Uh, and so they'll be looking for taste. They'll be looking for presentation. Uh, they'll be looking for organization, uh, cleanliness for sure, and just really how those chefs uh, are, are managing uh, managing their kitchen. So uh, we're very, very proud, Team USA, to be represented uh, this year by Stephanie De Palma uh, from San Diego, as well as Br Bradley Waddle uh, from Redding, California. It's really going to be something else, I can tell you. You can you can just feel the heat. I was building up. <laughs> yeah, figuratively and literally. I just love it. Those are some hot kitchens. Rooting for Team USA. And we've got the Olympics coming up. What are their chances, Emerald, to advance in this competition? I, I think that uh, they have had some great coaches, uh, lots of practice. They've been together almost a year. Uh, I think Team USA is going to place very very well. Um, but who knows? You know, you never know what could what could happen. Well, we'll be watching closely. Uh, can I get a BAM? Uh, that's your secret ingredient for Team USA. Absolutely. BAM. BAM. Team BAM. USA. All right. Go Team USA. Emerald, it has been a, been a pleasure. Have fun down there. I want to come next year. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.